Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about normal spinal anatomy. We're going to talk about these curves in your spine. The first one is your neck curve. Cervical. The second one is your upper and mid back curve. Thoracic. And last of all is your low back curve. Lumbar area. These curves are important and studies show that people who have optimum and healthy curves in their back have better health and better function. Today we're going to focus on the thoracic spine area. The most common problem we see in the mid-back curve is that it gets accentuated too much and people get too much curve. Hyperkyphosis of the thoracic spine. That makes sense though because everything we do during the day is in front of us such as working at a desk or being on electronic devices or even sitting in furniture that makes us slouch for long periods of time. Have you noticed even in our job, we're forward a lot, bending over, so it accentuates that thoracic curve. Yeah, it's part of life. And when it, you get too much curve in that mid-back, you'll start to notice things like a lot of tension through the shoulders, oh, yeah. between the shoulder blades, even down the arms can get a little tight. Some people get a little pain in here because they're closing in and their sternum and their ribs start pinching inward. Yeah, maybe you struggle getting a full breath of air. Mm -hmm. And we see a lot of people who have too much curve when we take x-rays that they get a lot of bone spurs and stuff because their spine on the front is taking so much force. And their discs start to thin. And this is all preventable. If you notice any of these things happening to you or if you want to prevent them from happening, we have some things for you to do. What I recommend first is go to your chiropractor and be evaluated. If he deems it necessary, he can take thoracic x-rays and see immediately the current state of your thoracic spine. And after that evaluation, you can get a chiropractic adjustment. That directly contributes to getting a healthy curve in your mid-back. You know what? For me, when I get adjusted, I feel an immediate response and that nervous system starts working better. After people get adjusted, we have a favorite exercise, an at-home activity that we like people to do. This is called thoracic foam rolling. We're going to show you how that works right now. The first thing you'll want to do is find an area on the floor that you can lay on your foam roller. We sell these in our office if you're interested in buying one. Once you lay on your foam roller, you can move your shoulder blades out of the way by giving yourself a big hug. And then you can lightly and gently roll up and down your mid-back. The further up you go on your mid-back, the further you want to lift your pelvis off the ground. Sometimes you'll hear some popping and crunching and that's okay. You can stop where you feel tension in your mid-back and kind of roll and stretch over that spot. Another thing you can do is lay the foam roller along the length of your spine and let your shoulders just fall to the ground and help open up your chest, taking big, deep breaths. These are just a couple things you can do. There's an unlimited amount of resources online on YouTube for foam roller exercises. So remember, healthy curves in your spine mean better function and improved health. 